And we begin TBS 2 News at 11 with breaking news, a refinery fire in Carson. Stu Mandel is live in Sky 2 over the scene, and uh, Stu, it is a big one. Yeah, definitely, Jeff and Pat, take a look at this. This is going to be the marathon for refinery in the Carson area. People that drive the 405 probably know that American flag. You can see it from the 405 freeway. This evening, though, they're getting lots of phone calls about a huge ball of fire in the center of the refinery. Now, they have their own fire department, but they've definitely called L.A. County Fire to come and help them with this fire. Multiple units are arriving here off of Sepulveda and Wilmington to uh, make way into that the refinery. They have to be allowed in. Right now, the first reports, they're saying that this was a cooling tower that had exploded. On a personal note, we were over almost uh, in the Mulholland area, over by the 405 uh, in the Sepulveda Pass when we saw this explosion. Uh, it, it, it lit up the night sky. My pilot Fulvio and I both were drawn to it. And believe me when I tell you, what we see right now is small compared to what was going on earlier on. Now, we are worried about this is a working plant. We are worried about injuries. We're not hearing anything as of yet, but you can see that huge ball of fire pretty much in the center of this uh, refinery. They're saying this is some sort of cooling tower that has exploded. A couple of lines, these are automated lines. You can see that there are actually no people down there, but there are automated lines out here for this type of situation. A lot of fire, definitely going to be creating a lot of heat, a lot of other mechanics in the area, uh, me me meaning mechanical machines in the area. I'm sure that they know what they're doing, but right now, a huge fire pretty much out of control. Uh, Stu, you talk about the area right off the 405. Um, looking at uh, well, traffic there, it seems to be going pretty pretty normal. Well, it's a bit ways from the 405. Can you also describe what's, what else is in the area just in terms of this is in industrial, obviously. Are there any residential areas close by that would be affected? Residential, it's prob residential is probably going to be a little bit farther away. Uh, this is a venting tower right here, and obviously you can see a lot of fire coming out of that right now as well. Not sure if this is part of, uh, of, of, the, of the operation. Maybe they're doing some uh, relief on the lines. As far as anything else in the area, this is pretty much a refinery, and it's in an area that is, stands alone. There's a couple of car lots off the 405, and you are right. The 405 definitely moving pretty well. A couple of vehicles, though, you can see some folks have basically stopped there on the freeway, probably saw the explosion, maybe are just kind of curious what's burning. We do know from the California Highway Patrol that they did get a number of phone calls uh, when this, did, uh, this explosion occurred. Now, L.A. County Fire, they're out here. You can see them still gathering. And uh, this is one of those scenes, we've seen this before at these refineries, they have to be escorted in. They have to be advised about what's going on. Of course, L.A. County Fire, these are professional firefighters, but the fire department that is part of this refinery, the Marathon Refinery, they are trained, specially trained, with, this, uh, with what's going on in this area. They know the machinery. They know what's going on. So now they're basically briefing the L.A. County firefighters. As far as water and cooling, Right now, their emergency lines are activated. You can see another one right there. Every now and then, we'll pick one out, and we'll show them to you. But these are all automated. We've seen this in the past. The firefighters, they're basically at a control area. They're, these are, are, are robotic, and they move around, and they're probably cooling systems, and they're probably going to try to shut off the fuel that's feeding this fire. But right now, that fire burning very, very brightly and continues to burn out here in the Carson area.